Durant les deux sessions, le PIB de la Chine a augmenté de 5,2% en 2023 et un objectif de croissance autour de 5% a été fixé. Hello. A vacuum tube radio, also known as S valve radio, is an early type of radio receiver that uses vacuum tubes to amplify and detect radio signal. These radios were widely used from the early 20th century until the 1960s. Nowadays, with just one vacuum tube and signal generator, you can make a super simple yet sensitive and selective shortwave SSB radio receiver thanks to the use of PC and SDR processing software. In fact, this project represents a kind of software-defined radio where components that have been traditionally implemented in hardware uh, mixers, filters, amplifiers, modulators, demodulators, detectors, etc. are instead implemented by means of software on a personal computer or, or embedded system. This allows for more flexibility in the ability to handle a wide range of frequencies and protocols simply by updating the software. Another advantage is that the radio uses a cheap 6J1 tube, which is capable of operating in an extremely low voltage of 6.3 volts, which we also use for heating the tube. This radio is actually a modification of DRM Direct, Direct Mixer project published by Burkhard Kainke, but now using a VFO instead of a constant frequency crystal oscillator and also adding an antenna matching circuit for the input oscillator. The 6J1 tube acts as a mixer with the oscillator signal be being ejected via the screen grid. In the project, I use the frequency oscillator whose construction is described in one of my previous videos, but you can uh, also use any other frequency oscillator. Now let's look at the way of making it and the components of which it is composed. The receiver is, a, is made in a simple way by directly soldering the components to the tube base, a technique that was also used in commercial radios until the middle of the last century. The receiver is made, uh, the device consists of a cheap 6J1 tube, several capacitors and resistors, and an input part consisting of a coil with 25 turns on a body with a diameter of 2 cm and a variable, var uh, variable capacitor with value of 500 picofarads. The frequency range of reception de depends on the value of the last two components and for the given data it is from approximately 6 MHz to 14 MHz. The SDR software I use is SDR radio by Alberto I2 PhD. It is free and you can download it in the given address. On the software we can monitor the reception signal very clearly and precisely. And we can also set the type of the modulation, namely AM, LSB or USB. As well as the bandwidth of the received signal. The stability of the, of the frequency of the received signal is mostly depends on the VFO generator, which in this case is very stable and precise. That's why we can perform the modulation of several digital audio signals with different softwares. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. The receivers should first be tuned to, the have, to have the best reception around the desired frequency. For this purpose, we adjust approximately the frequency of the VFO and without the antenna connected, 
uh, we turn the variable capacitor until the we get the strongest reception that is noise now we can we need to connect the antenna and start searching for stations When we encounter a station, we again move the variable capacitor to the best reception. Next, I will demonstrate the reception at different frequencies, bearing in mind that reception varies greatly with the propagation conditions of the shortwave band. This is DRM signal. On 5.9 megahertz. Durant les deux sessions, le PIB de la Chine a augmenté de 5,2% en 2023 et un objectif de croissance autour de 5% a été fixé pour l'année 2024. Comment évaluez-vous ces chiffres During the testing, I came up with the idea to reduce the supply voltage and I came up with an amazing result. The receiver works perfectly well even at voltage lower than 3.7 volts, so I can power it with a single lithium battery. Let's see how it looks like.
As you see, in this case, the receiver works quite normally and the total consumption is only about 0.4 watts. It even works in free walls, but with more modest results. Ortaya doğru gönderdi topu. Bodrum Futbol Kulübü oyuncuları karşıladılar. Ali. Sol karada hızlı bir top. Denizov topu oyun alanı içerisinde tutamıyor. Kıç atışı Konya Spor'un. Let's try again on 3.7 volts. Tamamen beyaz sonra bilinmiş durumda. Beyaz top, beyaz kon, beyaz formayla karşılamızdalar. Konya Spor'da bir alışık olduğu zaman bir forma var. Konya Spor'un bir izleyiciler. Çok kere de siyah Konya Spor'un çok kere de Dimitro, Ve burada Bodrum ilçe stadyumunda Gerdan geriye gönderdi Damyanoviç. Damyanoviç'ten Adil'e. Adil önündeki boş alanı kullandı. Topu bir müddet sürdükten sonra orta yuvarlağın standı bekleyen Oğulcan'la patlaştı ve tekrar Of course, the 6.3 volts works better. While recording this video, the radio signal propagation conditions were relatively bad. So, to give you an idea of the quality of the reception, I made I made a simple comparison with the well-known commercial product SDR Uno from SDR Play. Atak yönüne göre Resim Paşa Paris Hayredinovic O noktaya doğru gidiyor Slave Style Tekir'de İlk yarıda geldi Kafa vuruşuyla Topu avarla buluşturmuştu Resim Paşa'da Slave Style Tekir'in 1-0'lık üstünlüğü devam ediyor İki takımın taraftarları da Kendilerine ayrılan bölümde maçın başından bu yana desteklerini sürdürüyor. Olsa geldi, deniz çıktı, boşa çıktı. Mama the fall, maestro'yı çarpıyor. Şimdi Bünyamin. Bünyamin baktı topa. Bünyamin yerde kaldı, gidemedi. Aytaç, Mama the fall. Tekrar Aytaç. Onun yerden fası ama hareketlenmedi o noktada. Kevin Rock. Outside'daydı ve softa dışarıya çıktı. Kale grubu Adana Demir konuşuyor. Şurada da Gravillon. Ali Kaydedir olmuş bahçeye geldi. Gravillon'dan pas. Alevi iyi döndü. Oku oku hemen arkasında. According to the test that I performed in the previous period, the receiver has the best reception with the simplest antenna, a high-mounted long wire that are with a length of at least several meters and proper grounding. With a loop of the ground, loop over ground antenna, the reception is clear with a better signal noise ratio, but at the same time with significantly lower strength. I tested the receiver with an EF95. A tube instead of 6J1, and the results were about the same.
And finally, a short conclusion. Although this is not a modern SDR radio, but a combination of very simple hardware and PC software, it still represents an excellent example of how we can apply modern computer te technology in radio technology. On the other hand, the reception quality and the many software options are excellent. And let me not forget the radio operates of, on an extremely low voltage of only 6 volts. And even a curiosity is the fact that this tube radio can function at an amazing 3 volts DC.